Welcome to Road of 16 Rage Against Solara. We are starting on Marketplace, rather close generation. Both picking the Hindustanis out of the three suits they had as options, Mayans and Turks being the other ones. And we have six stables and five a bit weirdly placed barracks for Rage. On the other hand side, more beautiful build order I think goes for Solara, even though I don't like these kissing buildings here. Three wrecks only, seven stables, and no archery rangers placed for anyone. So we will have to wait a bit until we see either hand cannons or cavalry archers. The different options, but uh, most people starting with camel halberdier. So Lara's market value is getting stopped. Is there a market for rage on the other hand side? There is not. So we will probably still get the market from solara's perspective so far villager count super equal both losing one villager mm, nice garrison there in the last moment from solara will not lose another villager as that camel is about to die might get one here though yeah looks like okay now he lost one too two 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 losses in the rush which is pretty good for solara going against a top three finisher of deathmatch world cup with the similar rush. Um, I was actually able to snipe more villagers in one of my games. Um, okay, I shouldn't say that. Um, yeah, slow down. Okay, we're back. And the logic count is actually better for Solara. We don't know the Eco Kitty anymore. Um, but we know the expansion from both and the normal KD going in favor of Rage a little bit, winning this fight with having more reinforcements is a bit closer to base. It's straight in the middle. There is a middle hill. We do have kissing castles here. And the one from Rage is... Ooh, I don't even know which goes up first. But we also have the battles to attend to. Um, that is looking a little... We're just throwing camels and habitats into each other and it's looking quite close. Three villagers was that oh no, there was the camels by Solara stopping that castle, so Solara will win the kissing castle contest. Kissing castle contest. Um the engagement's going quite even so far with 104 to 100. Yeah, very even KDs over here, and we'll trap that castle down as well. Some camels will be annoying here in the trade and what is that castle stop to the north as well and now gulams being mixed in by rage let me pause for a second and hope it gets better oh, i need that one Maybe the restarting and testing was wrong thing to do. Well, that's a good engagement for Solara, because I don't know why Rage's army is standing back there. And Solara will get the hill now, has trebuchets on the hill. Maybe could place a castle there now as well, as Rage has to go back. And the army count, 99 to 60 in favor of Solara. Also more villagers, no food eco for neither yet, as we do have some back raids here that are being annoying. Um, pretty, pretty close so far. Still camels on that TC. These camels could go clean that up. And... Doesn't see the camel. Even though it's attacking the castle? Is that normal? I don't know. Um, but yeah, one castle falls for rage. Still has the hill over here. And early bombard cannons. Something we've not seen from too many people. Um, always taking a long time to go for bombard cannons and with these onagers out for Solara I think very good choice for rage but Solara certainly having the overall advantage over here trade cut numbers 9 to 3 so also a trading advantage for Solara and yeah still is 150 army but he is not going forward what are you waiting on Mr. Solara clears up that thing here could go back to build that castle but no Camel coming back over there, both securing their side, now sending the trebuchets forward. He is not at full pop, probably waiting for that. Way better pop than Rage though, so all the Rage 3-0 predictions maybe have to rethink already here. 
It's just that Solara seems too cautious for my taste. Maybe also a little bit too many halberdiers, but there's no counter unit, no hand cannoneers, no cavalry archers at all for either player. Solara not paying attention though. Bombard cannon might kill all the traps. Traps are firing at the bombard cannon. Bombard cannon has to go back, but hmm. Solara seems just to be content with getting that hill over there and probably concentrating on getting his farming economy up um okay stream looks to be fine and capture also has decided to run properly now and we get the bombard cannon and gets the bombard cannon so the traps can pretty fleetly engage needs to use the halberdiers okay halberdiers will protect the trade no a new bombard cannon is out uh, Cam is going for it. It is being protected, but that castle already pretty close to here and the main gold under contention here in that side and with seven trade cards will not be enough to make up for that but a lot of traps being lost by Solara. Army getting cleaned up though, so the bombard cannon will go down. Two traps still alive and I don't think that's enough repair wheels for two trebuchets. Nine, no, you can need 12 to out repair two traps. So this castle will fall as well. That is looking very good for Solara in game one. And Rage has some camels here trying to interrupt the trade there, but the trade is just a short trade until here for now. So these camels aren't doing too much. And now Bombard Cannons out for Solara as well, pushing deep into the Bage of Raid. Face of the Bage of Rays, exactly. Um, I wonder why don't these guys use some HCA? I think there's two options HCA or Hand Cannons. So HC. HC looking a little bit. Feather maybe. I think both options are very valid, but yeah, both going without any archery units. Okay, there we have Solara on the right side going for HCA. I would rather like to see them in the, in the middle fight. I like that some range is being added though, probably so far more concentrated on Siege, which I guess is also a range option, but he's doing everything here, raiding that, and yes, there go the 3-0 rage predictors. Already prediction in the bin. Solara taking game one in very quickly. 16 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, did the tent get killed? Here's the tent for you, Bricks. The tent gets killed really easily because it actually doesn't get any armor. And yeah, Hindustani War won by Solara in 16 minutes. Good fights over here. Early siege and uh, was kind of ahead in every respect after in the end winning these fights. Very, very impressive showing by Solara. Uh, we don't have the full statistics because Capture H was going down. Maybe we should use in-game ones because those are actually there. <laughs> That's a circus. Um, well, a circus tent, right? I don't know. In German, it's circus tent. Um, so it could be both. And yeah, more gold for Solara as well. Taking the market, bringing the market push home over here and killing Rage in game one. So advantage for the underdog. And we do have the next game, which will be Rage's home map. So will we see Hangoth? Uh, we will most definitely not see nothing, but see Forlex Runestones or Lowland, and it is Forlex. And they still have Hidden Silver on, so I'm not seeing those things. Rage is hosting, so I will tell him to. Do the two minutes back delay. Um, is there a way to put in brackets anyway the seat of the player you can see the seat of the players in the discord Next to the names uh, I could well yeah. On which scoreboard? On the capture scoreboard or on the other one? This is what happened when you ban Mega Random. 
You lose game one. Uh, no, there's no admin rules for banning Mega Random. And apparently, thinking hard on the sieves over here. So, Rage so far against me picked Hans and Goss. I don't remember what he picked in round one. Um, but uh, we can find out, right? Wikipedia has all that information. His game one was against Ryzen Velos, and he picked Franks, Magyas on Kevison. Um, then against me in game three, he picked Goth and Hans. And we'll see what he's gonna do now. Uh, maybe also I don't know we had predictions for game one but TP if you want to do predictions or another mod for game two would be nice because I think we're in oh they rehosted for the spectacular no they didn't that's also no spectacular state god damn it And we are off with game two! Faust! Thank you for the sub! You already gave me birthday presents, man! Because I know you in real life! <laughs> but thanks a lot! Uh, goes to Harry Boy Sam, Hans God, oh my god, bad memories there! Indeed, Rage didn't have a new idea, so he's going Hans God Solara. The logical pick, as most people think, going with the Goth actually there. And yeah, Goths, if they can survive, should win later on. Rage played this matchup very convincingly against me, though. So we do have seven stables and five ba five ranges. Probably is going to add some more, I would imagine. Barracks, even? I'm not sure why would you would add barracks overall here. Harry boy Sam in the house. How are you doing? And we do have a market as well, kind of usual in this matchup, because the Hans want to have that big golden army out there to be able to beat the goth army. And the other goal is to deny any farming eco from the goths. Sneaky houses here, Solara losing the LAN houses, as I like to call them, since Deathmatch World Cup 3. And now the Care Watchers looking for some kills. Some House Villagers are still at the left side. Goth not going for any siege yet. Instead focusing on a lot of Halberdiers. Also Huskals in the queue. But not that uh, one is being made. But I think maybe DQ some Halberdiers. We do need some Huskals soonish I feel. Rage with really nice expansion. Placing everything around the map. We always see Rage do that very early. Um, so now the same last game. Goth's a bit slower to expand usually in this matchup but rather retake the map with a big wave there or attempt to um it's lara actually being the first one to take at least the map as the lower seat it is true but good fight for rage here will stay in control of that hill losing quite a few paladins but kind of losing your paladins not too unusual in this matchup and his cavalchers continue to be annoying six villager kills that villager <laughs> dancing there is solara bikering that or what and at the front huska is now finally being mixed in as the paladins start to die out but we still have more paladins in the queue so still have it just needed getting into the cavalchers there somewhat can he stop the dog stopping the dog would be big because that's quite Early and nice uh, foodie co for goths to get even better on four legs. So, if you assume that everybody is picking the goths, I think picking rune stones is the wiser choice than four legs because four legs is just better for the goths. Mm. And so far, every lower seed that got offered this matchup has gone for the goths over here. Those are really good fights for Solara, says Andy. Mm. Not sure, you kind of want to whittle down the goth army and then not let them get farming eco. But he has some protection over here and it is the hill for rage. And that's a nice hill to push for. Main gold is under that hill. And if he can get the incursions against the farming eco down, we are on that lake. But rage 
constructing a dock as well on that leg and going for the sneak dock here. Really, really nice play. I love the dock placings from Rage because the easiest food you could then Goss can get here is on water. And those are not too nice fights for Solara anymore. Now has to retreat to the Cavachas. Can retreat to the castle though. And has Cavachas in between two castles there. Nice early trebuchets for Solara. So if he can get those castles down would be really nice for him. What? What are you talking about first? I'll read that after the game. Um... And now 100 house cards and rage is dead. Ah, some Tarkin still in the queue has 33 on gold. <coughs> um, and it isn't too many. It's still a mix of both. But one castle is falling. Rage is getting pushed back. Farming eco. That castle not being a be denied. Because the villages are walled in. It's only palisade walls though. So Tarkins could go through that. Farms being added over here, but the docks are producing fire galleys and even a castle being attempted on that castle will be stopped. But the fish will go down. The fish will also go down over here. So not too much on food for Solara. He manages to push back the castles. That is a big win for him to get that hill. But out of food very soon. And yeah, great. A bit lost what to do though. 50 Cavachers not being too active. Probably need some more Paladinos here. Could Q more paladins but yeah it looks like Ray solara kept uh, a lot of his army alive and is going 150 army forward is solara taking the 2-0 over here so far it worked to pick uh goths uh, hans versus goths kind of but um maybe as the tournaments and the matches get closer that is not possible anymore but let's see 13 farms the farming eco getting up the fish eco is denied and that castle is under attack there's huskals in the mix here though so solara probably gonna take down this trebuchet taking down the goals and that's two goals for rage that is both of his home goals hunts eat goals like nothing in this matchup so if he loses this both both of these goals and and his army then rage is completely toast maybe even if he loses one of them he might be toast. Gold bank still looking good. So probably kind of needs to lose both. Trying to snipe the trebuchets over here. Paladins mainly dying. Can maybe get one trap. Are getting one trap. And okay, there's another gold over here. But not too sure if that's where you want to attack. Solara placing a castle up front. Not first one on the hill. But yeah, can raid the farms now. Can raid the gold now. And it does look like the <laughs> three... Did anybody predict 3-0 for Solara? No, I don't think so. It was a 3-1 prediction from Keller that was the closest to what we might be seeing right now. Fudiko being prevented. 4 on food, 60 on gold still. But no chance to get any cavalry out. And that TC is being idled as well. That is the two goals I talked about. So he's reached that goal. Still has more army going for that gold spot now. So also... Really good work by Solara to identify the gold spots that he wants to attack. And that looks like really, really clean from Solara. Rick said Solara will win two games. Only fair, but the castle is being stopped. So Rage is hanging in there. Not sure if he will have any chance later on, but he's kind of back on that gold. Needs to ungarrison the villagers. One villager still building the castle. Don't tell me that villager gets it up. It doesn't get it up. Nobody has to tell me that. Nice, nice. And Rage denies that one also somewhat somehow stopped the push here on the right now Rage with more army and Solara has to wait for his food eco to kick in one um, Trebuchet there, but I don't think he can get the castle down until the army arrives so Looked like Solara was pushing through pushing through but Rage defending that And the God is blessed the Lord has blessed us indeed Uh, if Faust, if you ask me, you can have some of my the whiskey you gifted me on the 11th of July. Of sure, of course you can. Um, but you would have also gotten that if you didn't, so <laughs> or did give to some. <laughs> the castle should have been on the hill. I said that, right? 
doing a castle there before on the hill while attacking here was a little bit overconfident maybe can still get it up has some army around there rage now trying to attack over here for the fish and the main farming eco but there's three castles in the main farming eco 32 farms not too strong already and rage still has that angle from the south also has gold here getting the hill control ramming that i think this might transition into a close game and I still think that's what Goth would massively favor, as there's also no castles to protect Rage uh, from raids. Ay, ay, ay. I, I actually said that right. Can't believe it. The fire ship's doing work on the paladins. Okay, that's stuff that Briggs looks at when Briggs was going cast with Kelly. Like, oh, there's a battle between Helvidius and fire ships, and Rage calls the GGWP once again. No chance after in the longer game for the Hans. He defended that rush, was trying to push back, but the longer the game, the better for the Goth. And the upset is upon us. Maybe 2 0 for Solara in another quick game where Solara defended the Hunt play over here. And I'm starting to feel worse and worse about my group stage performance. <laughs> Rip my points. Bricks will get a lot of putos, I imagine. Is there a mod that did not participate in the predictions? Or do I have to do work that I shouldn't have to do? Oh yeah, Keller's there to resolve. What a surprise. Yeah, Keller's the only one predicting a win for Solara here. I went for 3-2 for Rage. Still not off the charts. But um, Solara looking damn strong, damn well trained. And yeah, I don't think Rage trained at all for this tournament. Still not upon reaching this stage. And very, very impressive performance from Solara over here. Who also gets to pick a map now after Four Legs was lost for the Quendi player. And no code yet. So maybe Rage needs a break, being 2-0. Yeah. Well trained, indeed. And Joro will go on about how he trained Solara in the past. But Joro at some point trained everybody. So he can always say that he's the genius behind the scenes. Like, that's the trick, right? You're on my phone. No idea how to do anything from here. God damn it. No, 94% for Rage, only 6 for Solara. So, uh... Briggs will get a ton of points. <laughs> and yeah, let me also edit it on the scoreboard over here. And still haven't gotten a code. Let me check. Maybe they've started without sending me the code. Okay, it looks like they are in the lobby. It was only 300 points? Oh, I thought it was more. Um, but better than the thing. Solara, the new Winchester of DM. We could still call Winchester the Winchester of DM. But... Good thing I remember to, that I put my Mate in the ice fuck. Uh, Brix is sorry to kill the hype. Yes, Brix. Bad mod. Bad mod. Um, but yeah, Winchester of the... Um, I hope I was referring to Winchester's breakthrough performance in Battle... Not Battle of Africa. King of the Desert. Four. Where he went into the finals. And Solara... Already in Deathmatch World Cup for Silver League um, went to the final, surprisingly. This year he will play the main event, and with this performance he might even go far in the main event. Predictions seem to be up for game three, I think. And we've got 
Berbers against Bengalis. With them still not doing Spectilay and Solara going Bengalis. No clue about this matchup. What do you guys think? We are in. Well, Raid's probably gonna be out of the tournament, so we don't need to tell him to. Well, let's see. It's, it's only 2 0. Reverse sweep is still possible. And Solara going for the Bengalis, starting with Barracks. And we do have Rangers on the other side. How good are Halberdiers for... No last armor for the Halberdiers of Bengali. So their helps aren't too great. Should do fine against Camels probably. And with that opening, I don't understand Camels actually. Like, why not... Cavalry. There's no Cavalry on the field for Solara. He isn't going Elephants. Uh, he is going Elephant Archers. And I'm not sure about Camels do better against that with less Pierce armor. Probably Cavalry is still better there. Um, Camel Archers might be able to kill the Elephant. Yeah, Camel Archers kind of kill everything that Solara is making right now. But what about Ratas? Are they, are they also Cavalry Archers in their Archer mode, right? So Berbers? Like, what do Bengalis do against Camel Archers? I mean, so far, Halberdiers against Camels will be fine. And there's a lot of Camels queued for Rage, who I imagine took the market. And he made a market, but he hasn't taken it yet. Bengalis will have a tough start, but good middle game. If Berber keep their archers alive, they should still win. Also good for Sars. But there are no elephants, right? Okay, there are some battle elephants being added now. Um, battle elephants that do regenerate, if I'm correct. Is there anything Bengalis can do against Janitors? Yes, there's a lot that we can do against Janitors. I don't think elephants do anything against Janitors. Elephants, that's kind of hard to deal with for purpose still, right? Which is why I'm surprised he didn't open with that. So Lara is being housed a bit. And middle presence with the faster civilization there. Arguably for rage. But building it under the hill castles. Am I doing community games after this set? Yeah, after the next set. Elephant archers and yeah, against the elephants will be harder. For the Berbers. Rage again expanding nicely. That castle very close. I don't think that will go up. Especially with not walling the villager in. And now the elephant archers are present here. Camel archers are also present. But they need castles to be messed. Caspar at least there. So castles produce faster. And the elephants are not too many anymore. And Fudiko probably getting to be a problem for Solara indeed. He is already out of food. Um, and that castle got cancelled. Oh, yeah, elephant should be the clue here for the Bengalis. Um, hmm, I think the purpose should have monks. You think Kasva left AV2? Who is Kev? Kasva over here. Somebody playing like Kasva? Hey, funny. Burva suck versus help siege elephant. Uh, help siege elephant. But the Kev is killed. Uh, I guess help. Yeah. If you add in siege elephants, then I guess the Kev died to the Habitus. So now we go for YOLO push, zero food, a little bit of food now, and he claims to be lagging. We have some bombard cannons on the field now against the elephant archers. Bengali eat food, I agree. Now that's not too surprising, but I don't know, maybe that's where the Casva comparison is coming from. I didn't get the Casva comparison though. Nice to see so many people in chat and chatting actively and... Trying to go for the fight here. Hill bonus for Rage. Habitus are driving the camels away though. And the elephants are going into the bombard cannons. 
will drive away the camel archers and this looks like a very good fight for solara will force rage off the hill not a single castle being made on the hill quite surprising because usually we see people rush up castles on the hill because of the tech oh kaspar kaspar like i was thinking like what is the play style right but no it's just names um, traps on the castle, bomber cannons, quite exposed over here, elephants will take one down, force the other one back, so this castle is going to fall, and without any monger Reno's out, now Rathas coming out for the Megal, it's not too sure, I think Rathas should get bonus damage from elite camel archers, uh, not too sure about the new sylphs over here, but the elephant archers versus the camel archers doesn't seem to be that bad of a matchup actually. Still a ton of HP on the Chonkers. And Harata's there as well. I, I would kind of thought that Camel Archers would do better here. But there's still elephants soaking up the arrow fire. Not even armored elephants in. And I think in, I agree with Funny. Armored elephants in front of this army could have been really strong. But food is an issue. I think that's why Ratas are being mixed in. Because they are wood and gold. And it's kind of the only Bengali unit that does not cost food. And middle control taken over by Solara. The question is, can we get some raids? Only Camel Archers. Kinda would be nicer to see some Hussars over here probably. As we're mainly not going for food units. Food eco only at 15 for Rage though. While we have 25 for Solara. Spare were good monks? I think not. I have. Not too sure how their monks are. but Something against the Battle Elephants. I think it would help. Clever to put in Yusuf for an inactive player. Well, the same what I did, right? I picked Gujaras in the matchup and uh, drew it in. Vegetarian is pretty insane, though. Yeah, Rage has good eco, but now we see some raids for the uh, Fry the Ratas. Could be switched on melee mode to go through these siege workshops pretty quickly, but I guess we can shoot the villagers first. Uh, the camel archers are in. Let's see if they get bonus damage. I'm kind of interested in that. Doesn't look like they're doing that much. Ah, well, if they hit, they do a lot of damage. So I do think they get bonus damage. And Solara threw away all his army here in the front. So Solara about to throw Joro is being correct. And that means rage. Massive amount of villagers and massive army now. And Solara's army just vanished. Trying to push into the main gold here without securing the hill at all. Did get one relic. That's kind of all he got up from... His uh, short phase of hill control, overconfidence by Solara against strange is what it's looking like. Six trebuchets there. That was for the big push, but all the army got cleared. So yeah, the camel archers did kill the ratas, and Faust is correct with that. Solara dead, Lul. It looked like he was taking it with the elephants, but Rage defended the push. And now Solara, quite out of options, has 52 villagers on food but lake control and side control for rage and right now the army numbers onager is being tried there but these guys regenerate so onager can eat an onager shot go back regenerate come back so camel archers one of the unique cav archer units that is the best against onager shots assume lake mike 55 more elephant yeah, he told me about his strategy before and I assume he'd make like 40 more. Yeah, I think more elephants would be good, yeah. If he just made normal area, he was probably chilling. Mm, I don't mind a few elephant archers behind, but I think, yeah, I the, like the percentage of battle elephants should have been higher. Monastery falls, but there's a monk. So at least he will save the one relic. Still, nobody built a castle on the middle hill. What is this? Paul against Harry? I mean, this is Paul against Harry because Harry was building castles on the hill. Paul had somehow won the game nevertheless, but... Is Paul had playing here secretly? Or, or why this aversion to build a castle on the middle hill from both players? I mean, I guess Rage doesn't have the stone. He made a lot of castles in his days to produce. Uh, his unique unit and is switching sides nicely after the right side. Now the left side. We'll find the castle kill here. We'll get one gold mine away. 
And the main Fudico or a good percentage of the Fudico. Ah, it's Fudico on both sides. So denying that also helps. Now going for that army from the middle over here. Could kill all these villagers. Really would like to see Rage move forward these camels. And it does look like Rage come back in this game and in the set. Maybe the turning point. The start of the reverse sweep over here. It looked like the army was quite unbeatable from Solara, but uh, with it a little bit, Rage did regather army and now seems in control of the game. Now also has moved the camels in, clearly listening to what I say. We are um, thinking. Um, eh, how, how do you. The thing that Spock does. Connecting thoughts or something. Um. These red are still idle over here. Could find actually great raids. Uh, not too much protection, no castle over here at all, just a mill here. Uh, this one's also free to raid. So if he ever remembers those, but probably much too focused on his base being slaughtered left and uh, actually not being slaughtered right on the right side. He is pushing back. Um, mm, rage not usually using the fish. One fire ship and one villager is fishing short fish. Two fire ships over here. Um, could make some fishing ships. Why not? I think he got Illimas now. No, he fell. He had 52 on food before these attacks started. It's now down to 26. And he's trying to go for elephants, which is the right unit. But I agree with Keller in that it is a little bit too late for that. Um, and uh, we'll push by on the right side. But the gold's already been fully mined by. Uh, Rage both still have a gold bank back to 38. Rage now using the market to sell a little bit of food. Uh, built a market early but didn't end up using it that early. I think it's kind of funny when you pick sieves like this hoping that the other guy doesn't know how to play it. Then you learn you don't even know how to play it yourself. Well, I knew how to play it. But that's that. But yeah, I mean it was very like... I think Solara could have been pretty sure that he was the one going to play the Bengalis because Rage is like, ah, I don't know them, I'm going to pick Burbas. At least I know what to do with them. Um, so yeah, could have... The slate tables are weird. And still it almost worked, right? It's a nice death ball army still. Um, but it's nothing too bad really, right? It's still a 2-0 lead. Or it will be a 2-1 lead. Shortly as Solara's pop is uh, crumbling uh, under 100 and I imagine he will call the game when it goes below that number. Rage having full map control as well. These trebuchets feel a bit lonely and one cannon gain there to kill them. <laughs> hey Hazzy, wood 2-0, damn go Solara. Yeah, I bet you're feeling really good now Hazzy, right? With your 3-2 set against Solara. Well, I'm not feeling that good anymore with my 3-2 set against Rage. Um. Ah, yeah, great, great set so far. Solara is somewhat ho holding on, going... 50 will just on food again over 116 and now he has elephants is like is Solara gonna come back again don't tell me it looked so dead I mean he's still reduced to no portion of the map rage is still taking his gold star Solara's on I look good surviving this for a little bit but rage getting his first point against Solara only in game three which itself is a solution. Jorah thinks Burma is the better sieve? Not sure, with more elephants, maybe not. Definitely feeling good now. No? What's the no? Ah, uh, he's not coming back. Has he true professional? Yeah, maybe has he wins the tournament after all, huh? Haven't been talking enough about him. Um, also Lara does. 2-1 against Rage, looking very good. Still could have won that game with a little more elephants and uh, throwing his army backlash. One big elephant should push should be good. That's what I've been saying. 
and eating a lot of food he had way more but he also needed way more and rage taking all the map uh gold and also some of the golds of solara So, this is... Actually, everybody losing their home map. Solara also lost Kavasan. Um, and they're kind of forgetting to send me gold. Now it is on Rage to pick a mirror matchup. Sorry, almost not my Marta fall. GG, this is indeed getting spicy. I think the predictions might be a little bit too early. We don't even have both people in the lobby yet. Lowland Turk War. Okay. Boss going in with there with the predictions. What do you think is he gonna pick? I would bet on a hand mirror on Runesots. Also, you guys can still guess the soundtrack. 300 muscles for that. That you could use on picking the community games later. It is runestones and it is Hans. I was correct. Faust was wrong. Kella was asking the right questions and we're off. Hey, they remember the spectacle. So Hanmira, I think Rage is the big favorite. So I think we're going to get to that game five that I talked about. But the game five would then be Solara's pick. But it's not completely ruled out that we might see a reverse sweep over here. Twenty-eight viewers, also really nice, and uh, yeah, the right time to be here, because I think we're seeing definitely the best round of sixteen sets so far. Let's hope the set behind this is as good. We are already at a game four, and. Chances are, I would say, pretty high that we're going to see again five. Yeah, game game four hype, obviously, only. Um, Solara's hunts aren't too bad either. Solara played a lot of hunts with, with coming in for likes. Also with Joro, probably. Um, but I still would favor Rage quite a bit in a hunt war. Who does the winner play? Mm. Keller. Slow is good as hunts. Absolute disgraces. Are you somebody I know under a different name? I think I think so, but I'm not sure. Oh man, rematch? Into Solara and Keller? Let's see. I, I think there's still something in Rage when he gets into his game to reverse sweep this one. Um, We are in a Hun War and that is certainly where Rage feels like a fish in the water. Maybe Solara does too. 
I'm gonna get clapped again, oh boy. Keller was worried about getting Solara from the very start of the tournament. <laughs> Back from when we get the seeding, he was like, please, please, don't let it give me Solara. Please, please, please. So, might happen. Um, six stables. Eight racks for Solara. Five archery rangers. So, Joro against Rage. At least build order wise. But losing a villager early on. Um... I don't know if that would happen to Jaro. I'll leave you to uh, leave that. More classical build order over here, I would imagine. Yeah. 466. Six. So, super classic for Rage. It's what he played 20 years long. And there is, like, in. You can always see Jaro trainees in their big build orders with Hans. You would never make Paladin. You would open Tarkin. Okay. Oh, I know Solara. He destroyed me in Death by Droid Cup. In the Silver League, indeed, he was second place there, only second to coming. And not looking too hot over here. Nine to six villagers, advantage, rage, and he will kill another one. So Joro will distance himself further. Uh, I would resign by now, I've lost it. Uh, see, there's the distancing. Called it. And it's not only one will that he's losing, right? Um, yeah, and also killing some. Four out of five, I think uh, resigning early would have probably not been the right call. Um, but seven to five, now actually Solaro with the villager lead. And Rage playing the market, but there's still raids over here being caught though. And it is stronger army for Rage, he killed villagers earlier. So he is going to have more army, but after losing so much in a rush, kind of feels like he might need a market over here. Because his economy or gold development will not be that quickly. This wall here will be very decisive. And Solara gets through, stops that castle for now. That will, should give him a little bit more time. But right now it's a 100 army to 65. So even though Solara ahead in the will count now, Rage, especially with getting the market now, I would favor Rage's position by quite a bit. In Let's see, Harry, we had a similar advantage. At one point against Paulette, but then took a bad fight and Paulette was able to get it back. Um, how good is this fight? Pretty even. KD absolutely even now. Now getting better for Solara. Yeah, so uh, Rage doing the right thing. Retreating. Not really the Cavar just on the hill. I really want to see Rage's Cavar just on the hill over here. Change map view so I can see terrain. I, I want capture edge. It has small trees, it should also have the mod actually. Classic DM patrol middle, indeed. But it's looking good for Rage, his KD rising. Still a little bit of units behind there. That one being dragged away, expanding to the hill over here. That doesn't really do much. Um, goals there, goals there, goals here. All two extra goals. Oh no, that's an extra and one of. Solara's gold's on the right side. Main gold is in the back. And where's his other gold? Oh, it's to the front. So yeah, if he can deny these two golds, that should be really nice for... Uh, Rich. Well, you see a lot of other info here, right? That you wouldn't see. I can't change the other modes here, I think. I can just show you that to see the resources a little bit better. But I think we should concentrate on the fights. These are the goals, so that's what is gonna matter. Rage should have this. Rams out first for Solara. No range, no siege workshops. Well, that's siege workshops. Okay, now Rams being produced for Rage. But a bit late on the ram side. Also, never sent a new villager to build this very, very nice castle. Oh no, never mind. There's a villager. Pro caster. Um, and Solara getting up some economy in the back. Probably needs more on gold first though. I think that's too early economy. He isn't the one taking the market. And in Hanwar, he kinda needs more on gold. Yes, he only has his main gold. Should try. Okay, he's trying to establish himself on that left side gold now. Um, Rams are changing the fights quite much in the favor of Solara, who still behind 50 KD though. Um, Rams could do the comeback. 
Well, they are letting him stabilize even against the hill over here, but there's no trebuchets to push back that castle. Okay, trebuchets being made here now. No trebuchets being made over here. And very good control on the map for Rage. Relics and a Hanbot don't matter too much because the relic income is reduced 50%. Spam this Rage to help out Rage. Nice one, Regni. Um, rooting for the Quendi favorite here that is looking a little bit shaky in game one and two. Rams out there now on the castle. Trebuchets out as well. We'll get sniped by some halberdiers though. Nothing on the side to protect the traps. But Solara, 82 army gets 58 now. Rams might do the comeback. Are Rams making the comeback? Rage garrisoned his units in there shooting at the CA. So quite some cavalry archers will be lost for the Israeli. And castle falls to the Rams though. Now freeing up access to the goals. Rage needs quicker economy because he did use the market. Um, but the one being out of food is actually so Lara over here. Yeah man, he had this 50 army behind the earlier ramps. Rage was a little bit too late on that. Um, and yeah, also really nice hold from Solara. Now has nice eco distribution. Actually, probably wasn't too bad going for that gold little later there. We'll get this castle up, but again, military numbers now looking better for Rage. Still has the market advantage of gold overall. Nice target raid there, clearing everything around this TC. Both uh, pretty close to the desired villager count in a Han war though. And Lara. I thought the castle was stopped, but in that exact same moment it is going up. But probably will go down to Rams working on it. And the villagers are still in there, but the castle isn't targeting the CA, I think. Is it? Okay, now it's targeting CA. Yeah, now he's target firing it. And that means Rage might consider going back. And it's only two ramps, so the castle can hold a little bit longer. Now also CA in there. Not sure if that's necessary. Probably should plop out and focus fire them. Um, but castle falls. That means this gold again is denied. Still is on this gold. The neutral gold here. Getting denied by Rage with two Tarkins. Who is back out here. Has cleaned that up. And 16 army now for Solara. It looked for a moment like he could come back. Um, but uh, Rage with the early advantage. Then a little bit of comeback from Solara. But I think now Rage will carry it home. Has a good army. Tarkins, Cavarchers and Rams over there. And only 15 CA left for Solara. Um, he surely showed us also what he can do in a Hanwa. But... Um, which showing that just a little bit better and I think it is time to get into that game 5 feeling. Great timing on the Tarkins, indeed. So Laura Selling stone. Feels kind of desperate. And that castle will go down as well. There we go. These two golds are gone. And this gold will soon be as well. And I think the reverse sweep is two thirds completed by Rage. And oh boy, was I right in predicting a game five over here. Yeah, no, there's nothing that will stop these CA now. I mean, nice. He could have opened in the back for Solara. He surely also played this very good. And to make it like a Han war against Rage, where we thought he could was maybe coming back, was very impressive. Also, the late rush was nice. Yeah, it's going to be it. No, this is not going to do anything. Feels desperate. Uh, I don't know. He's still in the game five against Rage. And compared to the last time Rage had to go to game 5 in the group stage, Solara will be the one picking the mirror civilization at the map. And he still has Golden Swap. And 
and so long calls to GG. Game five is on everybody. And yeah, after very shaky first two games, Rage bringing the heat um, with the benefit of the market and the good pressure in the end. And the timely Tarkin switch, even though he was a bit later on the ramps, which gave Solara a chance. There won't be Mega Random, but there might be Atacama or Golden Swamp next. And I will be back with game five in one minute. And she fixed the scoreboard again. Two -two! Let's go. And will we see Dravidians on Golden Swamp? Oh, and he's still here. So you guys haven't started yet? That's nice. Oh, you're already done. <laughs> well, I haven't gotten any goals, so I guess you're, you're ready. I think we're in. Mm, maybe not. Let me use this shit. Why? Why? Why not Golden Swamp? What are you doing, Solara? Why are you giving here Chim a chance? They aren't, because it's on Spectre Andy. <laughs> you can't trick me. <laughs> Mayans on Atacama. He's not going Swamp. I think that's a mistake, but Mayans also something that Rage probably played a lot in the past, right? It's an old Sith or a Sith that was played a lot on AOC. So weird choice for game five, but no market start for Rage. That might be Solara's chance. Imagine he's going for the market. He is going for the market. Yeah, man, it's such a classic old school Civ. Exactly. Like, it's a land map with, like, Rage looking rusty on Golden Swamp in the group stage. 
and also on Salt Marsh. And then he's also going for old matchup that Rage knows how the back like a uh, back of his pocket. Um, but yeah, market advantage might carry Solara here. Not sure how strong the market advantage is on Atacama. It being a long map though. Rage was never incredible at mains. Absolute disgraces. Are you favorite? No, clear capture is his favorite, right? As he says, I feel old when mates is called old school. <laughs> uh, market taken by Solara. Let's see how many, much gold he got. Um, 2700. So quite nice if I think you also probably means he didn't sell any stone. It's the game for 20 years, so that's kind of as long as Keller lives. Um, in the rush rage, killing one villager so far might get some more, though. Market does slow you down. Um, yeah, I will. So Lara, Earth to Solara, should have never lost that villager. Probably concentrating on its own rush, which is correct, but rage, quick castle up. Seven wrecks, castles, and siege workshops. So quick transition to plumes here for the non-market player. What is expected? And 11 barracks eagles. Solara is all inning in game five. Ah, you're trappy. Ah, your god. Yes, I, I kind of knew that. I could have known it, but I forgot it. I'm sorry. Eagle Masters meeting here. Um, Solara has to kind of assemble his market army, which is many made harder by him being housed. Losing four villagers in the rush. Still will take a good fight over here. Not the fight that you want to take anti-market. Because it's an even fight. So anti-market, you usually don't want to take that. Um, it wasn't as good as it first looked. But should still be narrowly won by Solara. Eh. Only taking even fights, and now there is the plume switch. There, quite some eagles surviving. 126 eagles in queue. Take me back to 2003 Bay Wars. I has he that? <laughs> um, and onagers are out, but what can the onagers do if it's pure eagle? Um, is that also like 2003 playing only eagles? I guess there's a castle, but it's not making any plumes. Hmm, not really sure if 100, like 200 eagles is the right thing to do. At least we need some siege. So I think 20 eagles should be changed for uh, some rams over there. Or maybe some trebuchets and some rams. Um, the onagers are to defend the ram push though. And Solara all in Eagles feels weird, man. I don't think it's gonna work. I I would have. I think if it was a Dravidian mirror on Golden Swamp, it would have been way better for Solara. I mean, yes, probably Rage wouldn't make the the unupgraded elephants again, but still. Could have prepared something there, right? Eagles getting driven back. There is like enough eagles out to be a meat shield for the plumes. And yeah, it's not that many plumes in queue. 25 also more villagers out for rage. Who is also has a bunch of eagles that's going around here as we have a little castle war over there, but that will be stopped. But also the eagles are not really all inning, right? They're running here and there. Solara lost his mind. Okay, let's not get too mean, right? He is 200 pop at least with 170 eagles. But I don't really see 170 eagles. Like, it's so many 60 eagle armies. Like, what? The relics are so dumb. They're all on Solara's side, yeah. It's a really, really good generation for him. What is here in between them? Three up north. That's probably also the reason that uh, Rage was trying to get a castle up there. And uh, one is here. So yeah, that's really hard for Rage. Ona just finding probably some nice kills over here. More plumes coming to help out with these eagles. And Solaris eagles looking a bit confused over here. Also, these eagles just throwing away this bench. And now he only has two bunches of kind of 50-60 around. Um, he has zero siege. No, he has three reps. But that is very close to zero siege. 
Oh wow, pure eagles is a 2003 main. Well, maybe Solara is just trying to make a hazy and trappy reminiscent here. I, 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 I'm not too convinced of the 2003 strategy though. Ah, this will do some damage. Get him off gold. Um. And the only thing he has well, still has also 45 on gold, and he has a way easier time of getting the relics. Killing a TC over here. Um, but the blue masses will also build up. A lot of eagles being tacked into or like switched into by rage too, though. Wanting to match the eagles number somewhat. Has 72 on gold. And hmm. Might even go for the long game here, but there's still no plumes whatsoever for Solara, who is ignoring the casting it at all. He tries to give Rage flashbacks to being clapped by Daywalker in 2003. I was not playing AoE back then. I'm also an old man, but I didn't play AoE there. Yeah, with the plumes in the middle and the meat shield, this looks like very favorable fights for Rage. Yeah, and the KD reflects that. 240 to 160 units. And I I'm sorry if I'm not bringing enough hype to a game 5, but I'm just super confused why, why Solara is doing this. <laughs> and now he's kind of like, he, he, feel, he feels a bit lost, right? I mean, he's a Rams, yeah, but not really using them. The question is, with like the, the relic positions, what does he need to do? Well, he needs to get the relics, that's for sure. Because <laughs> otherwise he won't have the relic advantage. But he has like these guys also around this relic. I think he needs to secure that relic and the top relics he has kind of army there. Um, but he's not making a single monk. Okay, there's a monk. Uh, Caster's Curse. And is Rage going for any relics? Rage has a monk out that decided to not take the relic. And it's thinking about the relic again. Now if this monk turns back again, I will laugh. <laughs> Are you saying that he's just patrolling the monk here instead of taking the relic? It's not Torlara, it's Tor Tor Torraja. I don't know. Like, I don't know what, what Solara's monks are doing. Uh, they're not being produced because he's too pop cap. <laughs> Why? That's one relic he, he could get and he's refusing to get it. I'm uh, sorry guys, do you want me to cast the game or stare at this monk? Is there something happening here? Yeah, there's a trap. But it's one trap. Ah, it's two traps. Okay, one monk is out now for Solara. Let's see if it also patrols or if it will actually get a relic. Probably... It should go for this one, I feel like, because that's the most exposed of the three here. Staring at this monk. Okay. I mean, you're running the show here, guys. <laughs> you sure like a good game, but you also like a monk? <laughs> the voting is clear, yeah. <laughs> the voting is clear, but I want to see how the game ends. <laughs> I, I would tell you, you guys got some staring at the monk. I will check back with the monk to be done in a while. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! The monk is gonna die! Welcome to the future, old man. You never got a relic. And Rage is winning the game while during losing a monk. Because he does have plumes. Um, and now we can at least cast the game, right? We can't stay at the monk anymore. Um, but one of the monks has a monk with relics, so actually one relic, but it was the one map. I wanted to get that one. We also didn't get that one. Um, but will it matter? I mean, there's pop cap skirmishers being added now. Yeah, once the eagles die out, skirms are pretty good against rams as well, but there are no rams for rage. He's just trusting on his two trusty trebuchets and 4k gold in the bank. Um, could go longer here, but the push is looking very convincing from Rage with less villagers. Solara, too many villagers for my feeling in a Mayan war, has at least gathered a relic. And is there a new monk for Rage? There's no new monk for Rage, but there's just some lost rams after. Solara lost his side push army here. 
So I recognize that Monk was important, but it was like game, gameplay wise it wasn't really because it wasn't even getting the relic, right? Um, but it was important to us. And why would he take it away then? But he stopped Rage's push, so I think we are in here for a very nice game 5. Now Rage, a little bit not enough villagers for my feeling. Um, only gold left over there and still a gold here that Solara is taking, gold here that Solara is taking. The market is a big advantage and he is also not using too much gold, right? The early sk uh, skirm edition might be really nice. Maybe Solara will start thinking about late. I think he is, right? He's adding skirmishers. He's clearly adding thinking about late game. And Solara's philosophy seems to be no plumes mayans. If Solara gets the relics, it's just over. Probably, right? Because he can still take gold. I mean, Rage still has this neutral gold that he can take. He is getting more map control over here, so we'll get control of that stone. Um, both players are refusing to get relics in a main war, which is weird. Uh, okay, there's the next relic by Solara. And that relic on the top is still there. Rage is contesting that, so might eventually go for that top relic. Having another nice push in here, though. No siege with it too much. There's a two trebuchet still. Um, and yeah, I, I think Solara can stop this, though. Yeah, also has a nice onager there on the trebuchet. So that push is getting stopped again. Rage not adding more than 60 villagers, but with the resource banks he has, probably doesn't need to. Um, at the north, the castle will not fall just to a few eagles. Is there... Okay, there is some rams. Wood control, I guess, for rage, but... Eh, no, not really. Um, well, more wood control for Solari, actually, because he has a castle there. But... Mayans don't need too much wood, so... Wood control won't really come into play that early. Uh, plumes? 18 plumes! Yeah, okay. Solari changed his philosophy. He made a few plumes. Solara also got two relics now, but this relic... Oh, Rage was actually taking that relic, but the monk got killed. Still hasn't taken this one. It could be a 3-2 relic lead now, because this relic is far enough from Solara's base that relic uh, Rage can potentially bring it home. Okay, Rage now putting through the middle. Mm, I don't like that. Like, you're going for wood control when there's still a relic and a gold spot over here. I mean, the gold is kind of empty and he can't see the relic on the minimap anymore. But he could see it until a minute ago. Solara gets that relic on the right. Well, it's three, two relics. That isn't that big. Um, I would say it matters in mains, but three, two is still three. Solara no gold anymore. Well, both are running out of gold very quickly over here. Solara... What? There's still a wood price? Over 17? Huh? In mains? Why? May 27. Good fight for Rage. He has the rams there. And not too many eagles for Solara left. And... Better plume numbers, right? 28 to 19. Not that different, actually. But still eagles in front. Hmm... Now the last gold being invested into Eagles by Rage. Rams helping out big time, but units firing at Lumber Camps is kind of the, f the Lumber Camps being the Rams of Solara over here. Um, and uh, Rams slowly dying. There is Eagles, so yeah, it killed some buildings, but I do feel like Rage's push is dying out. He got the relic over here, though. Um, did he? He should have. There's a monk, and there's a monk with relic. Yeah, okay. So the Solara will, uh, Rage will get two relics, and Solara will get three. If he ever remembers that one. But uh, Rage probably thinks it's taken, so I don't expect him to go for that. I have two relics, plus 15 wills on gold. Yeah, where are the gold wills, though? Their gold wills are here, and there's 30 gold left. If Rage loses this, you're gonna be angry. Why? So Lara has to unpop. 
Rage only 140. Rage can do 5 cards to his turn. Solara can do 2 if he buys 100. Uh, actually, not. He would need 1300. He needs to buy 200. Solara said he would train if he beats Rage. I think he trained, right? I think he trained today with Sayu. And. Uh, I've also done some training games with Solara. Because <laughs> he fears to face Solara. Because <laughs> he threw it out of the window. Uh, the game 5? Or with not training like the first two games? I mean, it does look better for Solara, but Rage is going back to pop. But Wood, well, it's still 8k Wood for him. Solara, still maybe a little bit too many villagers. Um, Let's go, Onagers! Rage killing all the skirmishers with two or three shots. Buckle up for one hour skirmishers war. Hmm. Throw game five, you say? Wait, you left for 10 minutes and 200 eagles worked? I wouldn't say they worked, because Rage didn't die to it. Um, but they also didn't make him lose. I think he lost his market advantage with that, though. <laughs> it's cool. Ouch, yeah, that was bad. And now Rage has a way stronger army. 133 army, 50 villagers. That is Rage's attempt at a finishing blow with 50 villagers. He will have a massive army lead now to only 70 army for Solara. Still 2-2 two, two relics. Come on, Solara. I don't want to stare at Mox the whole game. I'd rather want to stare at some skirmishes. Um, Rage has 48 builds somehow. Yeah, but do you need more, right? The only gold income is relics. And he has enough food, enough wood to keep playing this long. And that way he can have a bigger army. I don't mind the 50 villagers, I think. So I still has some eagles alive. So that's a big advantage. Why well, it's only one eagle over here. And yeah, buckle up for the skirmish war. So we do see a lot of skirmish war right now. <laughs> Where are the onagers? I want to see some nice shots again. Such a dumb war. But people have been playing this a lot in 2003. By 2003, everybody was still young and had to do homework and wanted to delay it as much as possible. He just said it has to show make revake builds after he fights. Ah. But so far, it's only skirmishers uh, exchanging skirmisher things. Eagles now. Clearing up a little group. Doesn't really want to risk the eagles. Um, probably will need it for a sniping siege later. Yeah, these eagles shouldn't... They, I don't think they should run into the main skirmisher fight. It's just too gold inefficient. Rage is slowly, slowly, slowly skirmishing. Okay, go, go. What's up? Rage could also sell stone. He could. Or he could castle up all the wood. Right. We're already in the skirmisher stage, so wood control will matter. 7k to 1k. If he puts, like, secures this area and puts one castle here, one castle here, eventually we will indeed win on wood. You need, like, 30 eagles to kill in the scums? Yes, 22. No, I, I wouldn't risk them. I think the scums are too good. You can't kill all these scums with 30 eagles even. And surely not with 14. It's 22 overall. But they're just passing. Could raid the woodlands of rage, I guess. Maybe the best use for the eagles right now. Or just getting some nice shots. Where's the monk with the relic for Solara? Yep. I think it will remain there for the rest of the game. So Solara had a really nice map for the relics. Didn't get that one even though he could. Um, could have even sniped that one maybe. And just refuses to take his third relic. Maybe Solara doesn't want to win on a map win with relics. So it just holds it in the hands of the monks. So Rage thinks it's gone but he's not going to use it. That would be kind of close to Brick's prediction about them being nice and making game 5 a draw. Um, and game 5 is pretty much a draw because we're in main skirmish war. So Brick's prediction ended up being very correct. <laughs> as correct as you can get by the rules of the tournament at least. How many monk minutes is the monk guy? I didn't count, but I, you, you could probably watch 
the VOD back and see when I when I first look at the monk and then count from there. Um, skirmish a war, skirmish a war, skirmish a war. Let's get alive. Boof. <laughs> Chump. The only thing you hear is light swooshes of the skirmishers and them complaining as they die. Okay, the overall, way better for rich. Even though Solara had more gold over with the market. Doof. Rage now some eagles back. And the skirmishers are pretty spread out, so these eagles should do a fine job there. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, we're in the game 5, we can't leave now. Oh, amazing! I see what you did there. I thought it was a typo, but it's actually a joke. Well, at least I don't have to move my hands, right? Whoosh, 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 ah, 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 whoosh, 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 ah, ah, ah. Ooh. Only one skirm died to that on it. <laughs> well, there's actually raids going on over here. We could also watch some ching, 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 and some clink, clink, clink. <laughs> we need more skirmishes. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Solara's got you covered. 123 in the queue. And Rage got you covered something, something as well. 60 skirmishes. So overall, we have 180 more skirmishes in the queue. Don't worry, Ragnarok. And Solara's the one putting Castle down now. That's the only castle he can put without buying. Uh, Rage can still put castles, but I think he sold some stone. Not really sure how much I like that. Because it's about wood control right now, and Solara is able to keep his 40 on wood. Where are they actually? There's, there's these, that's only 10 guys. Is he taking like, okay, he's taking weird wood over here. He's taking... <laughs> what is this? Why, why is Solara taking all the stragglers? He still has wood axes in the middle. He has a castle there. He should take wood in the middle, I feel. As guns, 30% cheap performance? No, but they fire two projectiles. I'm losing my mind. But can you sanely scare at 180 skirmishes? Or does the abyss not affect you? New school players? Yeah, skirmishes maybe wasn't the thing in the past, right? No double crossbow for them back in the time. There was obsidian arrow, but I don't think right away, right? Uh, second text were only uh, invented with uh, forgotten. So in AOC, we only had one technology for the mains, which was probably Flower Wars, uh, Garlet Wars. No, that's that's the Aztec technology. What was the original main tech? Uh, El Dorado. No. If they tie, they will both flame versus Keller. They would twitch every time. That would be fun. Not for Keller though, because it's harder to like, um, uh, like you can set your mind to the opponent you're facing, and if it's every time a different opponent, I think that makes it harder for Keller. Is it allowed to cut the wood ends with onagers? There's no rule against it. It was for some time in DM considered. Not nice, or there was a gentleman's agreement not to do it. Um, RMS did it in tournament games. Since then, a lot of DMs have started doing it as well. Nice fight for Rage. Um, and he has a trebuchet out there, right? And that's the wood control for Solara. It's that thing he already amassed 5.5k. Or a tornado. Oh, that's a map, I think. Keller already excited for May and Skirmish War. Well, Keller has been picking mains in last World Cup, right? So it's not like Keller doesn't play mains at all. Ooh. 
Ooh, that could be a nice shot. That was a nice shot. Do it, bandmates. Well, there won't be main wars in Death Metal Cup 5. Could be in Ragnarok, though, as we're seeing. Damn, he's about to cry when he realizes he never grabbed that relic. He grabbed it. Just didn't take it home. Did you? Didn't you pick it? I mean, I remember the casting. Was it Leaf picking it? I remember casting main war with Leaf. Uh, Keller's like forcefully not remembering this much World Cup 4, I think. Why do you want to ban maze? Can't you see the fun in the game? Choo! Ah! Choo! Ah! Now I'm losing my mind again, I guess. I'm just saying what I hear. Right. Is that losing my mind already? Indirect speech. You can't see my quotation marks him doing. <laughs> He's walling the castle. He's trying to wall the trap in. Uh, from the scrubs, I guess. Uh, and repairing it as well. These scrubs are pretty good against traps. They do two damage mm, to a build up trebuchet. And uh, also to run build up, because that much pierce armor isn't already. Uh, the, the, the pack trap also has enough pierce armor to make it two damage. Leaf picked it. Okay. Rage doesn't have enough production buildings. Uh, for his Q. Yeah, certainly more production buildings there for Solara that he's producing from. Where are the ranges even? Here. Also, not closer ones. Okay, there is adding closer ones. I like that. Uh, we do have a trap war now. That's really decisive wood war here. It's looking good for Solara. Nobody touching this wood on the right side. They're both focused on the left side wood. Solara sent a lot of villagers to this wood. Um, while uh, Rich did add more villagers, but is running out of wood. Only 16 on wood, a lot of them repairing over here. Adding villagers now. Trying to add them to wood, I believe. And he's shooting at the trebuchet, but it's being repaired. Not being repaired right now, and the trebuchet falls. So that's good for Rage, even falling to a trebuchet. Didn't even need to send in these eagles. We'll at least get an auditor, so... Fair, not worth gold wise, but fair. Two two R R or twenty twenty two. Skirm war twenty twenty two. Look at banked wood. Yeah, it was like a much bigger wood bank earlier for Solara. I just commented on him running out of wood, right? And the massive fills on wood for Solara are paying off. The problem is, like, if he loses this, there's still more wood on Rage's side. Um, but it's also taking this one here now that he kind of gets for free right now. I really like that. Can't really take more of this one as long as the castle still stands. Still the trap was Still one shooting at the castle, one shooting at the trap. Ooh, Skirmish has killed the trap, though. That is bad for Rage. I think it's looking really good for Solara now. The wood control, clearly in his favor. Trap is saying the same. Solara should go for selling gold into stone and then one last castle. Yeah, castle here would be nice one. Priority one is going getting that one though. He could sell food and go for another castle over here. Now. He also needs to get that one down to cut rage off this wood. He's already getting this one for free. But yeah, I wouldn't mind him securing, seeing him securing that. Min Nunes, hey yo. Did any Zayu play? I don't know. Maybe they're playing parallel. They wanted to wait, but this is taking quite a while. They haven't been playing 20 minutes ago. It says Solara wins this in 30 minutes. I will cast Andy and Zayu regardless after this and like download the games from AOT.net if they've started. But I can't leave the set in the game 5. And Rage is about to lose that castle. I mean the castle got a lot of kills because there's skirmishes in it. So Solaro wasting a little bit of skirms there. Still not getting the relic home. If your kids will ever ask you, that's the spirit, frankly. That's what all of you used to think in chat. And 
also think of your friends, right? Maybe they want to live this historic moment as well. I want to tune in. Uh, Rage's Castle Falls. And the reverse sweep might fall with it. Rage is out of stone. I think he sold way too much of his stone. Uh, more castles in the middle would have been really nice for him now. Everything was at one castle. Three trebuchets, four solar raids, two to two relics. So it doesn't have a lead on that. He does have 9k wood though. And I don't see Rage winning anymore. Yes, it might take some time longer, but I think Solara has a decisive advantage now. 95 to 40 army, Rage is dropping in population. And in a super amazing set, we see the first major upset of the single elimination stage. All the other favorites going through, also favorite one going through. And in this amazing game, <laughs> Solara, we're starting 200 eagles, which we all questioned a lot. We'll take it. Earlier Skirmisher switch uh, being very beneficial for him. Arguably had the little bit better map. Was a gentleman. Never used the third relic over there. But still taking the wood control. And the wood control will win the game. I have to have a heavy German accent because I'm impersonating Django. Um, Solara in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's like 10 minutes ago that Keller said 30, so he's pretty close, but I think GG, I think you win this anyways. I think he wins this anyways as well, because I think it is over. Rage going out of the tournament feels bad, not getting the reverse sweep over here. And we saw a lot of chuk chuk and a lot of ah ah and a lot of eagles and a lot of skirmishers and a lot more skirmishers and a lot more skirmishers and Solara, I wonder what he thinks when he sees that monk still holding that relic but sensation is being made Solara takes down Rage takes down the top 3 finisher of Deathmatch World Cup for going to the quarterfinals and Keller will have to face his arch Masters of Arabia Nemesis Solara in the quarterfinals. KD way better for Rage. Gold Army wasted over here for Solara, but won the skirm phase. And Mr. Solara, yes, this monk has been standing here for 40 minutes. Don't go anywhere, anybody. We have Keller versus Andy next. And Solara. You will remember this relic for ages, I believe. You will remember your 3-2 win against Rage for a long time, I imagine. And this is clearly the star of the match. You had the best relic generation possible on the map and then it just didn't take the third relic. <laughs> but well played. No reason to be unhappy, right? I'm super proud of you. Um, well played. You finished what I couldn't and won the set 3-2. So embarrassing. You took down rage. Okay, be happy. <laughs>